Hello, everybody. Someone has asked me if I could make a how to video. I misunderstood the question, but I get it now. Of course, I'll make one. I am going to start at the Rim World Gallery, assuming you are intending to post a render of your colony. Everybody is welcome to post there. Make sure to read the rules first. They are very straightforward, but breaking them will sadly get your colony removed. Of course, we will gladly help you should that happen, because we always stick to the rules you will only find high-quality renders on the Rim World Gallery. To post a render, you will need an account. A slight inconvenience, it would be awesome if this weren't the case. However, Rim World Gallery is on the Fediverse and allowing people to post and comment without having to log in first would be like letting people on, for instance, Reddit without having to log in. Not a good idea at all. Let's do this first so we don't have to worry about it later. Simply click on Login, which brings you to the login screen. Then click on Register, which brings you to the register screen. Enter your username, email, and your password, and your password again to make sure you haven't made any typos. Then solve the CAPTCHA. Ha, huh, water related and it's hoses, that's clever. You have to consent to the terms and conditions, but they're not much more than no cookies only storing your email for the registration process, and so you can recover it should you ever lose your password. Some more details about not being owned by a company and running on the open source MVIN software, and how that content will never be sold. Of course, read them if you are in doubt, there's no secrets in there. Now click register and voila, you're a registered user of the Rim World Gallery. You will have to verify your account, for this a mail will be sent to the email you just provided. Let me show you. Here we go, an email from Rim World Gallery. Open it and click on Confirm Email Address. You can always double check the URL to check if it leads directly to Rim World Gallery. Always better to be safe than sorry. The login page will be opened again, and now you can log in with your credentials. Here we go, that's that done. Now to the actual mod. To use the Progress Renderer mod, you will obviously need to subscribe to on Steam or get it from the GitHub. Make sure you select the version made by Neptima 7, which is based on the original version made by Lanolar. Especially when Googling for it pay attention, you may end up on the wrong version, which is no longer maintained. Neptima 7 has allowed me to contribute to his mod, and we have made some optimizations to make posting on the Rim World Gallery a lot easier. Here you can also ask questions or comment, and you will find a Discord link where the mod creators are, and you can talk about Rim World renders in general. So, that's us subscribe to the mod. Let us go to Rim World and use the mod. First, I'll show you the mod settings. In the main menu, go to Mods and select the Progress Renderer mod. Then, under the Advanced button, you'll find Open Folder. This will open the folder where the renders made are stored. Renders you make manually are stored in a subfolder called Surprise, manually. Then there's the mod options. Some of these settings are global, some are saved in game. I'll get back to that later. Let's start a game. Open the options menu and select mod options. Select progress renderer. The first option is enabled. This is mostly useful when you want to install the mod and have it ready, but don't want to actually start at creating renders at an interval yet. When you start a new game, it will enable automatically. This is good for when you want to make a time lapse, so you'll never miss the first frame. The next settings on the left side of the screen are all global. This means if you change them here, they'll be the same in other games. I advise you to set render feedback to message. Disable all render settings, having overlays, especially weather, can seriously reduce image quality. Rain, for instance, is very hard to compress. Here's a tip, make your render when the sun is shining. Even when the weather overlay is disabled, when it's raining, it's darker. The smooth render area is really only relevant as you want to capture a part of your colony, which can be selected from the architect menu under orders. I am not going to go into that here. The mod is called Progress Renderer for a reason, it's to keep track of your game progress. For this, you can set these intervals. You can do it multiple times per day, but this will result in flashing during time lapses. Speaking about time lapses, the Time Lapse 2023 mod is currently being maintained by me and is ideal for making time lapses with your renders. For a nice time lapse, I recommend. 
Rendering every day. Rendering at 12 p.m. Only said encoding to PNG is you want lossless renders. They will be gigantic in size and fill your storage rapidly. Therefore, I recommend JPEG, especially if you want to make a RIM World Gallery post. By the way, this is another global setting. The quality adjustment feature was made by me, especially to make creating renders to place on the RIM World Gallery easier. Before, you'd have to recompress your large PNG renders to the right size JPEG so you could upload them. This feature automatically makes your renders the right size. Imagine the amount of time saved. Select Automatic and you will see some options appear. With quality adjustment set to automatic, the mod will keep an eye on the file size of your renders and try to stay as close as possible to the target set here. 20 is recommended. Because sadly, it is only possible to use whole numbers in Unity, it is not possible to make small adjustments to the quality. So especially with large, busy maps, a 1% quality difference can easily lead to several megabytes of difference in render size. The mod prefers to stay above the target size over being below it. The pixels per cell setting allows you to make higher resolution renders. I would not recommend going higher than 40 as your image size will greatly increase. If you are only making a render of just a small section of your colony, this could be interesting, though. The initialize feature is part of the system for making RimWorld gallery posts easier. When you enable it, when you make your first render, it will make a series of renders until it finds the image quality closest to your set target. Let me demonstrate. I'll set the file size to 10 megabytes as this is just a tiny demo map. We go back to the game and press zero to render the entire map. The keybinds can be adjusted just like all keys via the game config. The game will start creating renders and adjusting the quality until it finds the best setting. Do not interrupt this, it can take a while, depending on the speed of your computer, storage, and map size. All these initialization renders are automatically deleted. Once initialization has ended, you can make your first render or just start playing and let the mod make renders for you at the set intervals. You will notice occasionally the mod will start adjusting the quality again when the file size deviates too far from the target. Now let's continue and post a render on RimWorld Gallery. Proceed back to the RimWorld Gallery website and log in. You may find yourself on the MBIN front page. Either select RWP Gallery on the right or the RWPI at the top. If you're ever lost, you can always click it to go straight back to the RimWorld Gallery. It is possible to upload a user avatar. I'm not going to show you, but to do so, click on your username, select Profile, click Edit Profile, and click Browse under Avatar. To upload your render, click on the plus sign to the left of your username. Click on Post Render. As it says, make sure you have read the rules. Enter a title. Check Rule 3 about descriptive titles if you're not sure what to call it, or check other colonies for inspiration. Add some tags if you like, relevant to your colony. Now click on the little stack of images next to the language setting. A dialog appears. Click Choose File. Depending on your operating system, a dialog will appear where you can select your colony render. Go to the folder set in the mod settings. If you made your render manually, select the Manually folder. Select your colony render. Depending on the file size, a preview may appear, but you do not have to wait for that. Close the dialog by clicking somewhere safe outside it and click Add New Photo. Uploading will commence. This can take a long time, depending on the render size and your internet speed. Once it's done uploading, give the gallery some time to create a thumbnail, this can also take a while, again depending on the size of your render. And that's it, you've posted a render of your colony. Very nice. Make sure to check in every now and then to look for comments. As of yet, MVIN does not send out email notifications, but who knows, in the future it may. Linking to the colony is allowed on the ludon.com forum and in the Steam Rim world community, but please make sure you provide some context. Of course, you may link to the colony wherever you please. It is yours, after all. If you enjoy the Reddit RWP subreddit, don't forget to link to the render there so your fellow Redditors can also enjoy your colony.